I've spent a lot of time this week polishing and making improvements to the board resizing mechanic, starting with these corner arrows. As you'll recall, last week you could only resize the board using the edge arrows, so you'd resize it along one axis at a time. But now you can drag one of these corner arrows and resize it along both axes at the same time. Um, this is very, very smooth. It works pretty much exactly how you'd expect it to. Um, I've also taken some inspiration from image editing programs in that while you're dragging a corner arrow, if you hold the shift key, then the shape of the board you're resizing snaps to a square, meaning that there's the same number of uh, squares along the length and the width of the board. Um, I've also made it so that you can see the, uh, the board and the arrows through other objects while you're resizing, uh, which can be very, very helpful um, if, you're, if the board you're resizing is kind of in a tight spot um, and surrounded by lots of other objects. Just a convenience. But probably the most difficult improvement that I have made to board resizing this week is the checks to make sure that you don't resize the board into an invalid position. For example, with this board right here, you'll notice that no arrows appear along the bottom side, and that's because you're not allowed to resize it along the bottom edge. Um, it's attached to the big purple board here. You can't break that connection. Um, similarly, if I try and resize it into this board, I can't. It stops there. We can't go past this, uh, this kind of border here because that would make the two boards be in the same place. Similarly, with this board, it's got a board attached to it, so we can't move that edge. Um, we also can't move the top down further than uh, would keep this smaller board attached. And this smaller board can't move in this direction because it's attached to this board. Uh, similar story here. I can't move the board to where it would leave these components floating. And similar story here. Uh, we, can't move the, we can't move the edges past where this inverter is. Uh, so yeah, that's where board resizing is currently. I'm very, very happy with the mechanic. It feels great to use, and it saves a lot of time.